Hi, Carly here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I like to find the fun and magic in everyday things. You may or may not know this about me, but I love thrifting. And when I come home with all my wonderful treasures, I like to clear them of that energetic residue from the previous owners or from you know, everyone who's handled it in the store, like the workers and the customers. So I decided to make a loose incense blend specifically for the purpose of smoke cleansing objects. So come with me and let's dive into the mystical realm of smoke cleansing and create a magical loose incense blend. Come on, let's go have some fun. Before we get started, did you know that smoke cleansing has been practiced by various cultures around the globe for centuries? Native American tribes, many African cultures, European folk practices, as well as some Asian traditions have all incorporated smoke cleansing in their spiritual practices. It's used as a way to purify and cleanse spaces, objects, and individuals. Fast forward to today. Smoke cleansing, which by the way, isn't confined to just one culture. It's a beautiful tapestry woven from traditions all around the world. Smoke cleansing isn't just about chasing away negative energies. It's also about embracing the positive, setting intentions, and creating sacred space. Moreover, it's about adapting the practice to fit our individual needs and preferences, all the while remaining true to the core essence of clearing away the old to make room for the new. As I mentioned earlier, I'm making a blend to primarily cleanse objects, more specifically, my thrift store finds. Using this flower acronym for making well-balanced incense, these are the ingredients I've chosen. For flower, fruits, and berries, I chose chrysanthemum for its protective properties, and rose for love and blessings. I add a little love into everything I make, so roses in pretty much everything. <laughs> for leaf, I chose patchouli for grounding and clearing negativity, sage and mugwort for purification, and rosemary for banishing and renewal. For oil, I chose lotus essential oils for its spiritual balance and purification properties. For wood root seed pods, I chose sandalwood for banishing, healing, and protection, as well as anise seeds for purification. For resins, I chose frankincense for blessings, balance, banishing, and renewal. And I bind it all with the sweetness of honey. Now to learn more about how to choose correspondences to make your own personal blend, you should watch this video. There's lots of really good information there. With recipe in hand, let's make it. So first I grind the frankincense into a powder. Now notice there are no measurements here. I intuitively add as much as I feel is necessary. Next, I crush dried rosemary leaves. And chrysanthemum buds. I crush them because I like my loose incense to be a bit chunky. 
I add crushed sage leaves that I foraged on a hike earlier this year. I'm glad I could use it in this recipe. Now my patchouli is pretty woody, so I separated the stems from the leaves. I'll use the leaves in this recipe and I'll save the stems for something else. I added mugwort, sandalwood, and rose petals. <laughs> It was looking a bit too chunky, so I grabbed my kitchen shears and snipped away until I was happy with the texture. Then I added the lotus essential oil. I think I put in about 20 drops and a bit of honey to bind it. Now be careful, don't add too much honey or it'll be too sticky. So just add a little at a time. While I'm mixing the incense, that's the perfect time for me to set my intentions for that incense. Look at that, isn't she gorgeous? <laughs> now let's put this wonderful incense to work. Notice my charcoal is square, not round. I don't use quick lighting charcoal anymore because it is not safe. To find out more, check out this video. This is what I use. I found it on Amazon. It takes a little longer to light, but it's so much safer to use than quick lighting charcoal. Once the charcoal is ready, let's place some incense on top. Oh, look at that. It's so easy to handle and to burn because of the honey and it smells heavenly. Now here are my latest thrift store finds that need to be cleansed. I'm going to make dressed candles with these teacups. <laughs> How cute are they? And just look at this martini glass. There are just no words. It was definitely calling my name. I had to get it. <laughs> oh my goodness. I am enjoying this so much. As much as I like thrifting and upcycling, I know I'm gonna make really good use of this wonderful smoke cleansing incense that I named Smoky Lotus. <laughs> Do you have your own smoke cleansing blend or ritual? Please share it in the comments below because we can all learn so much from each other. And there you have it. The next time you bring home that retro lamp or vintage jacket, you've got the not so secret recipe to clear away the previous energetic residue and make room for the new. If you enjoyed this adventure, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and ring the bell to get magical notification. <laughs> Okay, you take care and I'll see you on the next adventure.